Ready? Hit it. Enjoying that a bit too much. That's a good net. I like that. Hi everyone. My name's James Ivy. I'm Paul Drew from the Studio Rats. Oh yes. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, once again, it was time to make the pilgrimage down to nearly Bath to those lovely people at Gardner Hallgate to pick up my winnings. Again, some people still don't know what Gardner Hallgate is. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. Gardner Hallgate is a uh, is an auction, a British auction house, house that specialises in uh, once uh, once every couple of months. Once a quarter, once they quarter. do uh, guitars, amps, musical instruments. They also do the normal kind of auction house stuff like watches and furniture and stuff. So stay away from it because we're getting bargains from it at the moment. <laughs> so what have you bought? Um, we went through the catalogue as one does and we went, oh, you do? Ooh, that's nice. And I want it. What is it? This is a Vox AC30 50th anniversary, 1957 to 2007. Okay. I wanted a head. I didn't want two by 12 yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, because they're heavy. They're I mean, heavy. And that's not exactly like, trust no, me. No, no, no. But the thing is, heads are, we've got cabinets. I don't need to be stacking up more amps and combos no. and stuff. Uh, so this came up and I wanted it and I got it, which is kind of cool. I'd only actually seen this bit. We hadn't seen the top. We didn't know any of the provenance of it or anything like that. Um, it's in really good condition. There's a few dings and sort of marks and stuff, but nothing, you know, certainly nothing end gameable. The, the kind of the grill, because it's actually not a speaker grill, it's not really designed to be taken there's some serious of, abuse. There are definitely some corners that have been cut with the with the build quality, but this is your best sounding amp as far as I'm concerned. This it sounds, sounds monster, doesn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. So we've taken so in the intro, um, I used the blues breaker pedal. And it just it, it sounds like like a distorted Brian May thing. If, Badly played, obviously. If Brian May and Angus Young, if their amps had a love child, this that'll would be, be it. That'll be a funny looking thing. So <laughs> Let's hear it clean, shall we? Yep. Or cleanish, shall we say? So not very clean. I know we've got it cranked. <laughs> so we have got it well cranked. Well, let's I pull it back a bit. Yeah, yeah, bring it back a bit. But that's sound. not what this amp is for. This amp is for doing this. Well, in our mind, it's for doing yeah. that. Oh, God, I love it. I think the Vox amps do the best drive, don't they? All that clarity. and It's clear, but yeah, it's full, it's rich. And then, I mean, we, we just talked about one channel at the moment, which... There are two channels. Okay. Now, that this channel to me is the one that I think of when I think of Vox AC30. I think of a volume, a treble, a bass, and then obviously the cut, cut, control, yeah, yeah. cut control. But if we go in over here... But what's going on with that? This is a bit weird. We've got a volume, a brilliance, and then these two, quite frankly, very cheap looking and feeling sliders. Uh, a bass shift and a triode pentode. Now we also have a triode pentode switch in the master section, in the main switches. So that to me is yep. the power control. Yep. I think this is a gain control. Okay, well let's hear so it. Let's, 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 let's hear this, let's hear this channel first of all. Yep. So it's definitely darker sounding channel. Can we brighten that up? 
That's nice. That's not so nice. Brilliance level one, I would say. Crank it, crank it up a bit. We've then got the bass shift. Okay. So it starts to... I like it on, because it's fuller. Okay. Personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on. And then we've got the trio pento, which I think is the gain, like a main kind of gain shift. Okay. That's where your clean comes from. All right, let's stop messing about. Let's put it in the other channel. <laughs> but because there's no master volume, mm -hmm. you've got to drive it hard to get uh, yeah. the niceness. This is not this is not an amp for for, for, for bedroom use. No, it's all it's all. So, but then we've got the trio pentoed in the in the kind of the main okay, switch. Okay, let's hear that. So, so it's doing that. All of that really nice power amp distortion. Mm -hmm. And I just think, you know, that about there, a little bit of um, top cut, and, and that's just what this amp sounds like. And then you had a blues breaker to it. God, that blues breaker, but that, that's a perfect pairing. That sounds mm -hmm. awesome. And then take off the blues breaker and add a governor. It's got some noise to it. It has got some noise. Excuse the sloppy playing, but <laughs> what a fabulous sound. It's awesome, isn't it? Now, this isn't the most expensive amp I've bought at the auctions, but it's also far from the cheapest. This wasn't, I think this still falls into the category of a bargain. Yeah. Um, it is a Chinese made one. It's not one of the English made ones. So this is what I've heard about these amps. Mm -hmm. You can get good ones and you can get bad ones. Right. So that's definitely a good one. Yeah. That sounds, I think that sounds absolutely incredible. I think that is, uh, that's, that's my favourite amp you've got. Wow. That's, that sounds absolutely monster. But I don't, as, as we said earlier, I don't think it's a gigging amp because I don't think it would take it. I don't think... I mean, those switches, for God's sake, I mean, those, these switches here, they feel... That is cheap. Why didn't they just put two rockers, of these yeah, two on there? Because that is, that is, that is that's, that's dirty cheap, that is. Interesting that that sounded through the other channel. But I suppose they're always on, aren't they? The channel's always on. I don't know. I don't know what the what, what the wiring of that is. And I know when I first powered it on and had it mm -hmm. on for a couple of days, not all the time, It you definitely got that, hmm. Oh, that's just dust. Burnt dust. So it's not been used for a while. Mm -hmm. But what a brilliant thing. I love it. And you could do your toast on it if you want to. Yeah, I wouldn't leave it on if I wasn't... In the room. Yeah, I wouldn't trust, I wouldn't trust it, but... It's fantastic sounding amp. Highly recommended if you can. One for the them. collection. Yeah. Um, and one of the other things I put out recently on Facebook, on my own Facebook page, what amps am I missing? Mm -hmm. And Vox AC30 was right up there on the list. Is Even it? though the Chandler is very Voxy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we've captured this for our Tonex packs that are coming out, well, as we speak today, in, in a few days, actually. Yes, very exciting. Um, just keep your eyes open for them. Um, I think that's killer. That's that's an absolutely amazing You haven't asked the all-important thing yet. How much did you get it for? 500 quid. 500 quid. Absolute bargain. There's, there's, there are some bargains to be had. Yeah.
Yeah. But please don't go to the Gardner Hogg auctions because I want them all. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, really hope you guys got something out of that video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul. I'm James. And we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.